He exuded only light. That was clear to you if you knew him. You saw it even if you didn't know him. Do we now have proof that Twitch, the well-known hip-hop dancer, passed away from natural causes? The superstar's passing, which occurred recently, sent shockwaves throughout the world and sparked some of the most outrageous conspiracy theories involving celebrities and fans. What has Kanye said about fame's negative side? Did Twitch's sudden death actually have something to do with Ellen DeGeneres, or was something else or someone else to blame for his death? Let's get to the meat of this story right away. There were numerous positive aspects about Stephen Laurel Twitch Boss. He is a well-known hip-hop dancer, choreographer, actor, television producer, and television personality. In 2008, he placed second on the American version of the Vegan Dance, earning him well-deserved fame. His career only continued to grow from that point on. He appeared on Ellen DeGeneres' show frequently as a frequent guest host and co-executive producer from 2014 to 2022. Adored is insufficient. Not only did Twitch have the ability to dance in a way that makes you forget about your problems, but he was also admired by celebrities and millions of fans worldwide. Fans were shocked to learn that he had committed suicide on December 13, 2022, because he always displayed a cheerful attitude on screen that inspired and encouraged viewers to have a more upbeat outlook on life. After his wife, the dancer and television host Allison Hooker Boss, confirmed his death, he was only 40 years old. Numerous unmistakable figures honored Jerk, including entertainer Viola Davis, jokester Ellen DeGeneres artist Questlove, previous first woman Michelle Obama and wizardry Mike Costar Channing Tatum. Fans also got involved, expressing their affection for the beloved dancer and his family, while also trying to figure out what caused his death. As a result, a wide range of hypotheses emerged regarding the potential cause of the star's untimely demise. His rule says suicide or something else entirely. Stephen Boss committed suicide by shooting himself in the head of the Oak Tree Inn in Encino, California, according to the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner and Coroner. When the hotel's management realized he hadn't checked out at the scheduled time, they found his body. Boss left a note that suggested his death was actually self-inflicted, confirming his demise, so when authorities arrived on the scene, they found no evidence of wrongdoing. In a statement to People magazine, his wife Allison Holker said, I have to share it with the heaviest of hearts. Stephen, my husband, has left us. Every room Stephen entered lit up. He put family, friends, and the community above all else and he was all about leading with love and light. He was our family's rock, the best husband and father, and a source of motivation for his fans. Taman's obtained a copy of Boss's suicide note, which reportedly contained references to the star's previous challenges. However, the majority of these references were ambiguous, making it difficult to identify his specific issues. Despite this, Fans of the hip-hop dancer found it difficult to accept that Boss committed suicide, despite the fact that he had a positive personality throughout his life. As a result, theories regarding his death quickly became widespread on social media. His death could not have been self-inflicted, according to these fans. Let's investigate a few of these crazy theories, okay? Some people believe that Ellen DeGeneres, Boss's former boss and close associate, was the cause of his death. These people thought it was odd that Twitch and Anne Heck, two of Ellen's close friends, died in the same year. Anne Hesch was Ellen's former girlfriend, in case you were unaware. Thankfully passed away in August 2022 because she was hurt in a car accident. The Los Angeles County coroner determined that her death was unintentional. To Twitch, cut. Another close friend of Ellen passed away unexpectedly. When the opportunity arises, you can rely on the conspiracy theorists to connect the dots. On social media, calls were made in support of the theory that Ellen, the Illuminati, and Stephen Boss orchestrated his death. Additionally, Ellen squandered Twitch's life for her own gain. As these Twitter users stated, I don't mean to be rude, 
but that Twitch person's suicide just doesn't sit well with me. Of course, you can't know someone's life, but what if he died of something more sinister? The occultists? It's possible that Ellen is involved in some way. I swear I'm not at all a conspiracy theorist, but I think Twitch died of natural causes. Ellen is a covert animal. However, despite these tweets, the media personality, 64, and Twitch appeared to have been on good terms prior to his passing. When Ellen was accused of creating a toxic workplace on her show, she received a lot of criticism. In a 2020 interview, the late DG Dancer seemed to show support for the cause. Obviously, there are some issues that need to be addressed. However, in my opinion, there has been love. The conspiracy theory has also been criticized by a lot of people who said that it was disrespectful that it was put forth in the wake of Twitch's untimely death. Others, on the other hand, preferred not to speculate about the murder or sacrifice of Stephen Boss in Anne Hash and instead encouraged discussion about mental health awareness. All of the comments on TikToks about this man's suicide, according to one Twitter user, are conspiracy theories that Ellen killed him. As if empathy had never existed. What took place to shame? No one is attempting to minimize the negative impact that a person's death can have on others. Talk less about the legendary Twitch. However, you can do so when certain circumstances call for suspicion. Always anticipate that people will discuss it. In contrast, Ellen hasn't addressed these theories and instead spent time showing love to Twitch's family instead of accusing her of such a vile act. Ellen's initial response to the news of Twitch's passing was, I'm heartbroken on December 14, 2022. Twitch was only love and light. I adored him with all my heart because he was my family. He will be missed. Wesley, Maddox, and Zaya, Allison's beautiful children, need your love and support. She also shared a touching holiday video almost two weeks later. In a bizarre twist, a user asked, why do we so personally and quickly know that Stephen Twitch boss supposedly committed suicide? Others have suggested that Twitch's death was caused by the COVID-19 vaccine. So you don't dare think his death was caused by the hashtag vaccine? If this level of disclosure were eliminated, we would be significantly ahead of the game. The brand new SADS hashtag vanished without warning. Naturally, this theory was rejected right away, and many people who saw the tweet criticized it, describing it as sick, disgusting, and a desperate attempt by anti-vaxxers to spread a false conspiracy theory in order to advance their own goals. Amazingly, some have even suggested that Twitch's wife Allison was somehow involved in his death. Consider that. Fortunately, the online conspiracy theories were discovered by the comedian and actress Rosie O'Donnell, who decided to put an end to them by responding to a comment on her own TikTok video that read,